You make me feel alive. Get it? <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to Millennial Planter, I'm Marina and if you love houseplants as much as me, I suggest you hit the subscribe button because on this channel I talk about all things houseplants. And today's video is really exciting, I haven't done a plant haul in I don't even know how long really, I think February or March was the last time I did a haul and whew, this is this is a big one. These are all the plants I've gotten in June and mainly because it was my birthday. My birthday was on June 15th, I turned 28 years old and I really think that birthdays should always be celebrated because honestly like people just get taken away from this earth too soon and another year that I get to celebrate my birthday is another year that I get to spend on this earth and that's another year I get to spend with my children with the, which is something that is just like irreplaceable to me and yeah that's just my little tidbit on birthdays but let me tell you guys I want ham like I'm just looking at all the plants I've gotten this past month and it's a little ridiculous I think like last week I had a package arrive like every single day of the week it was a little overwhelming but very exciting at the same time and make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm keeping the best for last and trust me it's a real fantasy if you know what I mean I'm going to start off, I guess, I had the Secret Plant Pals that happened both in June. I had one that Amber always hosts. And then I also have one that I have with a group of friends and we actually did our own. So that was really fun. And my Secret Plant Pal was Brie and um, she is Plant Girl 50 I think, on Instagram. And literally, like, first of all, I don't know who doesn't know her, but she's amazing. She's a sweetheart. Brie, I love you. And thank you for all the plants. She even had it arrive on my birthday, which was just really special. I was kind of in a bad headspace towards the beginning of June, and honestly, like, it just cheered me up so much. She ended up giving me these beautiful um, bunny ear cactus apuntias, and they were all cutting, so I just planted them up in this little terrarium, and honestly, like, I love it so much. This is just like a temporary setup, but I really like how it looks right now and she also gifted me this beautiful calathea zebrina which i have wanted for so long and i don't know why i've always just like never gotten one but i'm so glad that i finally have one and it's even more special that it came from brie and i love it it's from pa orchid exchange and it came really like packaged really well especially in june and it's like so hot here in georgia so yeah definitely check them out also, I will have, um, if any of these plants I got off at Etsy, I'll put the links down below and I'll just put like the name of the store on the screen somewhere because I don't really remember where everything came from. But yeah, so that's the little Sabrina. It's so cute. I even have it in like this little cozy that um, and the other plant pal of mine crocheted. I also was gifted this silver sword, which is another plant that I have wanted for so long. Honestly, I don't know why these guys go for so much. Like, I just feel like these silver swords are still priced kind of like ridiculously high. So I never ended up getting one. And Brie was nice enough to gift me one. And I just love it. And I can't wait to watch it start to grow. And then next is this little beautiful Hoya Lacanosa and honestly i'm obsessed with this it's kind of like slightly sun stressed so it has like this beautiful blush red on the tips of the leaves and it's currently rooting and this is just another plant i can't wait to watch grow and just become like so full and trailing and it's just it's just the cutest little thing ever next I have this beautiful Black Moon Sansevieria that was gifted to me by Sydney over at Peaceful Planting. Uh, she actually got one big one and we ended up splitting it up and she gave me this half for, uh, as a birthday gift which was so nice of her. We're kind of on like this Sansevieria kick together. I mean she's gotten way more than I have recently but we both just kind of started getting a whole bunch of sands this month and it's just been really cool to see 
all the different kinds that there are. So this is the Black Moon Sansevieria and it's just like this dark, dark green and I love it. I love it especially in this gray terracotta pot and I have it on the top of my shelf right, right here, the top of my wire shelf and I just, I love staring at it. Like it just, it catches my eye every time. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And since I'm talking about that Sansevieria kick, next I actually got this Whalefin Sansevieria from, I think the website is Paradise Lost and they're located in Florida. This Whalefin is so cool. I mean, just look at that pattern on it. It's, it's beautiful and it's massive. Like it's bigger than my hand. Oh, it's so cool. And then I have it in this aged terracotta. And you know, when you have things in certain pots, it just makes you love it even more. And honestly, anything I put in like this aged terracotta pot, I just love so much. And also this whale fin is another plant that I've always wanted and I finally have. Also in that shipment, I received this Bantel Sensation and this plant, honestly, I did not like whenever I saw it online and it wasn't until Sydney got one that I ended up liking it because it always kind of reminded me of grass and I just wasn't like, I wasn't really feeling it. Then I saw hers and honestly, it's just like these thick leaves and it's like thick Sansevieria leaves, like very typical snake plant leaves that I just really loved and the creams that are in them and the lime green and the dark green that's in the coloring. It's so pretty and honestly I'm so glad that I got it and I'm so glad that I saw hers because this is definitely one that I love having in my collection. And next I am going to show some of the plants that I got from my other secret plant pal who is sh uh, slightly shitty plants on Instagram and she was a sweetheart she made me um, a couple of crocheted items it was this little koozie and then two hanging ones that I really love so much and then she also gifted me this beautiful begonia she wasn't really sure the name of um, but she this is what she thinks it is I'll put it on the screen and it's so pretty the silver on it is just i don't know it's just it's beautiful i love my cane begonias so much and it has these red backs and this baby actually really acclimated pretty fast to my house in comparison to other begonias so that was really awesome and i love watching it grow next one she gifted me is probably one of the most uh, exciting ones and it's this little Opuntia um, which is blooming as you can see and honestly I saw this bloom earlier today and I kind of screamed <laughs> um, so when this plant was sent to me it was really dehydrated and it was a cutting so it didn't have any roots and I was really nervous I'm still really new to cacti and I thought it was gonna die. It already had that bloom that was there, but it was closed up, so it hasn't opened, and I, I didn't think anything was gonna happen, to be honest, I just thought it was gonna die. And lo and behold, like this thing is so plump. It's fully rooted now. I have no clue how it rooted so fast, and the bloom even opened up. And uh, like, I think this might be my favorite cactus currently because of just, everything that has happened and it's the first cactus bloom that I've ever seen in person and uh, I just I love it and it even smells it smells like a regular flower that you get at like the grocery store but it's so beautiful and honestly if you've never seen a cactus bloom buy yourself a cactus and wait for it to bloom because it's so pretty so pretty and thank you so much for this I love it and along with that little cacti thing, I got this dog tail, rat tail, monkey tail, one of the tails, and um, that looks slightly questionable, but <laughs> it had a whole bunch here at the top, and I just picked them off, and I'm gonna propagate them just to make a fuller pot, 
but I got this at Ace Hardware. I actually checked out Ace for the first time ever this month and holy crap, that place is amazing. They have so many cool pots, like so many cool pots and they even have really cool plants. So I was really glad to check it out. If you have not checked out Ace and there's one by you, highly recommend it, especially if you're into terracotta. They have so many cool terracotta plants, like a lot of these gray ones, which I love. And then they have like the regular terracotta ones, like the orange ones, but they have different shapes and they have, at least the one that I go to, they even have the ones without the lips, you know? which are my favorite and since i showed you guys i actually also got this philodendron subhastatum look at these leaves oh they are so amazing um i actually traded this with sydney and i gave her a hoya macrophylla and she gave me this which came from a mother plant this was a cutting that she propagated and wow like i didn't know i needed this plant until i saw hers i feel like that happens so many times um and it's so beautiful like this new leaf is coming in and i mean just look at that red back and with this lime green color that it has it's it's stunning it's so stunning let's see next i guess i will share some purchases i made over at so it grows which i have talked about her in the past she is i found her on instagram she has some good prices on her website and she has like a huge assortment of plants and she has great tropicals she has great cacti so i highly recommend you check out katie and yeah i got this pedatum philodendron pedatum it did have two leaves but unfortunately my son snapped off one of them but there's that cute little one i love this plant so much because it reminds me of a dragon <laughs> and i know a lot of people have done this but i've named my plant mushu because that's what it reminds me of and yeah i love this plant so much and i can't wait for it to have more leaves i know i'm saying that a lot but i'm just i'm really excited and then also from her, I got this Anthurium. I think it's Doroyaki. I don't know how to pronounce it really, but that's what it is. Yeah, this is it. It's so cute. I've been doing kind of well with Anthurium lately, so that's why I wanted to get another one. And this one is so cute. It came a day late in the mail because, you know, with the pandemic, UPS is kind of running behind. And honestly, I got it and it was like, it didn't even ship at all because there is no stress at all on this plant. It still has yet to have a leaf lost. And yeah, I'm shocked actually. Like this is an Ethereum and this thing is hardy AF. Like it's not even fully rooted. It's a semi-rooted one, which I knew when I bought it. And I was just, I was shocked and I, love this plant so much i mean it just has the cutest little heart shape to it it's so pretty i also ended up getting another uh skindapsis trubii from her because i just wanted to make my pot a little fuller and she had one that was like kind of vining and so i just potted it up with the other one that i got from her and it's real cute looking and um let me see next off of etsy i ended up getting this peperomia beetle <laughs> look at these long beautiful leaves they are thick like super thick they literally feel like cardboard uh so i actually had probably two strands of it before i have gotten it in a plant trade at a plant swap that I went to in February. And I mean, honestly, I am just at the point of my life where I wanna get like, I wanna work on filling some pots out more. And I saw this guy and I think it was only 20 or $22 for this massive thing. So I had to get it and no regrets at all because like, it's, it's so pretty. And the new leaves come in and they're like, a slightly red color and they're just they're beautiful absolutely beautiful and if you love peperomia like me definitely find yourself a peperomia beetle because it is so worth it like trailing peperomias are seriously where it's at 
they're just so pretty and they're so hardy because this is another plant that had zero stress in the shipping process. The next Facebook buy I ended up doing was this little Hoya Retusa, which I am kind of bummed about. It was longer and I ended up chopping it and I'm propagating some. It did come with a bit of root rot to it. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's that. We'll see if the other half propagates. Um, but it's fine. It's not like, this was kind of a, a splurge. This was kind of like an impulse buy. So if it dies, I mean, I'm going to be kind of bummed, but I'm not going to be too bummed. But yeah, the little Rattusa. Okay, and then this one is super exciting. I bought this one off of a friend on Instagram, and it is a tiny little baby anthurium vitarifolium which is a pendant anthurium so they grow long and strappy and i'm pretty sure they're velvety at least they look velvety um so i'm really happy that i got this from him and i just i can't wait to watch it grow and watch it get long and strappy and beautiful and this i mean these anthuriums ship so well uh, granted, he was in Georgia and it took two days to get to me, but it still has been really hot the past couple days. And this thing has zero stress on it. And it even has a new leaf that's about to come out. So that's really exciting. And I just have it in water for right now. I need to pot it up and actually get a new pot for it. So I'll probably do that today. And he was also kind enough to send me a little cutting of this jewel orchid. And so that is just propagating right now and hopefully it'll propagate okay. I have never propagated a jewel orchid before or really, I never really even knew that they could propagate like they had nodes like this. I don't know much about them. So it's gonna be a fun little adventure. It has these beautiful red leaves and like just ugh, look at that maroon back. It's a stunner. And now for the final, little bit actually bought this philodendron vercosum which is really exciting it took me a while to find one actually i feel like every time i found one um it just it went too fast it was always on facebook and it was like on a purge and people just like grab that up right away but oh, look at this little baby it's so pretty and look at this red back set it has and it has fuzzy petioles and it has a new leaf coming out it did have another leaf but that leaf was damaged in shipping which is fine and is it's expected but just look at that guys i love this this is a plant that i've had on my wish list for some time and i just can't stop staring at it um the roots are a bit dried up which is kind of a bummer. So I'm working on rerooting it and hopefully everything will go well. I heard these guys are pretty easy to propagate. So we'll see what happens. Um, I did buy this one off of Facebook as well. And now we're on the last leg of this haul guys. And this is the most exciting part, um, honestly. Like just so exciting. So you all know that I had an elbow. I had two albums. I actually won one in a giveaway. The cutting had two leaves on it and it had two aerial roots. So I just snapped it in half. Honestly, I kind of toyed with that thought a while because I didn't want to chop the elbow in half. But I just, it was just too awkward to pot up and propagate the way that it was. So I chopped it. Anyways, I chopped it in April and it ended up rooting fine and growing fine. And I was just sitting with just these two guys and I saw somebody post on Facebook that they had a Burlmarks Fantasy and they wanted to trade, but they didn't know what they wanted to trade with. And if you guys are kind of new to the houseplant world, you always want to offer trades that are like of equal value. So I ended up commenting that I wanted to, I had a fully rooted elbow if you wanted to trade. And if you don't know, honestly, Burlmark's Fantasy has been on my wish list for months now. I think like since sometime last year and I kind of wrote it off because the cuttings that I have seen going around are tiny, tiny little like two leaf 
cuttings and they're going for like way over a hundred dollars which is understandable like these plants are really hard to find but then i find other people with huge beautiful leaves and burl marks fantasy have like these beautiful veins to them and it is just it's such a stunning plant and i loved it so much but i had written it off because i couldn't stomach paying that much money for like a tiny little cutting that i couldn't I wouldn't even know what to do with honestly because sometimes I get these hard to find plants and I freak out and I doubt my abilities but put out into the universe that the plant will come to me when it's ready and I'm just done looking for it so I had just kind of written it off but then I saw this girl's post and I told her I had the fully rooted elbow but she never got back to me instead somebody else had messaged me and said that he wanted to trade and so we sent each other pictures and videos of the plants and you guys he sent me a burl marks fantasy like ah so he actually sent me one long vine this is and they were all kind of rooted i think what happened was he had it in a terrarium he um collects frogs dart frogs so like more rare frogs and i think he just has this in a terrarium so the aerial roots on this thing were insane and i ended up chopping it in half because i just i'm gonna knock on wood but in case on the chance that one dies on me hopefully i could have another one that's doing okay and i mean here they are guys i i can't even believe that i have this plant in my possession and honestly i'm still freaking out because i feel like it's slowly declining on me but i'm not sure i just i just don't really know what to think i don't know how to put my thoughts in a cohesive way i just i can't i just i can't i can't i can't even <laughs> that's that and he even was kind enough to send me um, some cuttings of a varicosum he had as well. And that was just extremely nice. This guy was just ex an extremely generous person. And we just had some really cool conversations. And it's nice to meet other people that you just share this common interest of plants with. Yeah, it was, it was great. And I am still shocked that that happened and yeah you guys so if you are not a part of any facebook pages definitely check some out because you could get some really cool items basically for free because all you do is pay shipping for these plants and you just trade them off with other people so you guys if you have any tips on how to take care of this Philodendron Burl Marks Fantasy please let me know because I am freaking out I still don't really know what to do with it um, I just can't stop staring at it that's for sure and I just hopefully in about another two months I can update you with some growth updates on this baby because I just can't wait to get these like full beautiful leaves that it has and yeah yeah I'm in shock still <laughs> Oh, I also forgot to add this. My mom actually gave me her Stromanthe Trial Star, which is amazing. She had it in this massive pot, guys, and I ended up having to put it in a four inch pot. But I mean, just look at those leaves. So pretty, so pretty. Thanks, mom. <laughs> and that is it, guys. That wraps it up for this haul. I, I still can't believe I got this many plants, to be honest, I never, go this ham on plant buying but i really needed some retail therapy and i am officially in my late 20s so it, it it's just you know it just it, it happened it happened and yeah <laughs> i hope you all enjoyed and please share in the comments down below what plants you got in this month what plants you're excited about do you have any cactus blooming right now let me know and I hope you all are staying safe and staying sane and staying healthy and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!